In their final television debate, the socialist presidential candidates offered two very different visions. Former Prime Minister Manuel Valls wants to modernize the socialists. His rival, Benoit Hamon, wants a return to the party's left-wing roots. But it was on the question of French secularism and wearing the veil that they clashed. When a woman freely chooses to wear the Islamic veil, and there are many who do, regardless of what we may think, in the name of the law, she's free to do so. Our role is never to stigmatize, but we do need to tell women, young women, who are living in this macho hierarchy, that we are here to help them free themselves. In the Paris suburb of Evry, where Valls was once mayor, some people feel angry at his hard line on immigration and Islam. I'm Muslim and I can tell you that neither my wife nor my daughter will ever wear a veil. But every time Manuel Valls speaks to say he's not stigmatizing Muslims, I feel stigmatized. At the start of his political career, Manuel Valls spent more than a decade as the mayor of Evry right here. He says that it was during that time which he really shaped his vision for a secular France, a place where people of all religions could live side by side but respect French values. Shop owner Mama Drame says Valls helped transform Evry, reducing crime and creating opportunities. When people say he's racist, it's not true. Manuel isn't racist, he's sociable, he listens and respects people. That voters are divided over Valls is no surprise to those who believe he's betrayed traditional socialist values. They say only Amon will help the disadvantaged and workers. Manuel Valls, il est, uh... Valls is a man of the past, Amon is a man of the future. He takes us forward in terms of our values, equality, social justice and progress. Amon is promising a universal income paid by the state and to legalize cannabis. Critics dismiss him as a dreamer, but many party supporters want change after socialist president Francois Hollande's unpopular term in office. And Amon appears to be offering something fresh. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.